Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepherd. It's the final day of March 2014, and we'll see some photos. Aha, they are finally going back to the Planning Commission with a project at the southwest corner of Razorback and uh, 15th Street. So you can see the area there. It's prairie that I documented in past years, and particularly last year because it appeared that project would be starting soon and we again documented plants growing out there native plants anyhow we'll see what it is that's some mud in on Prairie Street I guess that's the end of or where West Avenue uh, hits Prairie and that is a mm, hyacinth growing at World Peace Wetland Prairie. And I, I call it a blue hyacinth. It's sort of purple. Uh, anyway, you see the uh, honeybee. It's got his nose inside that flower getting some nectar. So honeybees will be building, making honey soon. And there's another shot of him. And there it is going in there again. And uh, that one was really busy. There's only one around there at the time on this was Sunday, I guess, or something. And today's Monday, the 31st. Now, you have, what is it? Dandelions. People spend fortune trying to get rid of dandelions without remembering they're very important nectar producers and for the... Um, Bees and butterflies that are out early in the season and late in the season. And they're usually in the Crichia family. It starts with a K. And that one's one that grows very low to the ground. There's Lauren Hawkins out uh, working on World Peace Well and Prairie, kind of getting it ready for the new growth to come through. And she's using a weed wrench in this photo to show how easy it is to remove things like privet and uh, China honeysuckle. And there you can see lying on the ground, a plant, she pulled it out. She'll stop now and, and uh, shake the dirt off to leave the soil, because this is great soil in that part of the uh, wet prairie. Jonquils or daffodils, anyway, whatever you call them, same family. And there are many, many varieties. And some of these are antique varieties that have been around for a long time. That's in the front yard. And uh, this is a view from in front of our house on Duncan looking to the northwest, looking at storm clouds over the Hill Place apartments. And there we're about to show you, well, show you the flowers in the yard because if you look straight out from the center of this photo, you see the gas meter in our front yard. And like all the other houses in that part of town, ours has the meter out by the street, and we've already seen lots of them dug up. There you can see the meter behind that tree. So it's going to cut out tree roots when they dig in there. It's going to just lodge a bunch of plants and things that have been growing forever. And the, the uh, I don't know exactly what the route is. It's almost under those trees. So. And here's, um, mm, let's see, who can name that for us? Well, we have no audience today, so unfortunately, I'll have to think of it later. Ales and Tails occurred on Sunday, the day before we recorded this. I didn't uh, spend the money to go in there and, and get pictures, but uh, it, they apparently had a successful fundraiser for a, well, I believe it's Lou Gehrig's disease, to fight Lou Gehrig's disease at the town center. But, uh, eh, sorry, I didn't have that sign on a week ago. It actually wasn't up a full week ago when I made the pictures for last week's show. These are various pieces of debris that float down regularly 
down the town branch from Martin Luther King Boulevard off the university campus and off the shops and businesses there. And they have to be picked up by somebody, otherwise they go all the way to Beaver Lake. And we always have a cleanup every year. And we'll get to it, not just yet. See those stones, those rocks? Those are supposed to be slowing down the water. But when it actually gets high enough to run over the bridge there at 11th Street, the town branch takes those stones right on down into the stream. Um, so that shallows up the stream, actually uh, hurts its ability to hold more water at a given time. So the flooding can actually get worse. Okay, you saw hmm, tulip tree. Till next time, this I'll show you. Let's get to do your part to keep the water clean, air pure, woods green. See. Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepherd, and it's the third of April, 2014. And let's see photos from Bill, Arkansas. Should be ah, this was the Ward Four meeting on March 31st, and at 6 p.m. And this gentleman's looking at a new cottage student housing plan out on Whittington. And these are people from Ward 4. And you see, uh, of course, a Ward 4 alderman in the foreground. And to the right back there with the sort of vest and the uh, um, green shirt, that's the uh, owner of the land, Paul Marinoni. And it's, I guess it's for sale to those folks. I, I don't know that he's already sold it, but uh, probably wanting to sell some. And uh, there are some other regulars from Ward 4 that you recognize, I'm sure, if you've ever been to a Ward 4 meeting. And there is the developer uh, who's presenting the plan. And, well, there are actually two guys doing it. Oh, this is after that meeting. This was sunset. It's a stormy sunset. You can see a, a dog or wolf's face up there in the cloud. I don't know. Had to have that shot. Cottages of Fayetteville. Neighborhood meeting, March 31st. And uh, that was, uh, well, we may have some more pictures in there. Just out of order here from that meeting. But anyhow, this is World Peace Wetland Prairie. And you saw some hyacinths and and some, um, some um, daffodils there. And there's a truck that was there again this morning. Um, and he's, uh, he, I say, I think it's he and a she both are in there every, almost every day, part of the day uh, in the morning. And uh, they must love the beauty of this spot there uh, because otherwise, I don't know. But uh, here we have lots uh -huh. violence at World Peace Wetland Prairie. And the reason not to let these get mowed down is to provide food for the caterpillars of the, well, the Gulf Fritillary and the um, uh, Variegated Fritillary. But this is a comma butterfly. You see that little white spot up at the top? I, I think that may be what uh, it looks like a comma and uh, up at the top of the wing. Of course, this is with the wings closed. And this butterfly is the first one this year. It's really given me a long time to photograph it. So I did, and I enjoyed it. And uh, the butterfly um, is in the brush-footed category. It's There's another... Uh, punctuation mark a butterfly and it's almost identical but it's got a marking that's supposed to be a question mark so you know I could be wrong that might be the question mark the two are very similar and if you go on the internet and, and uh, Google compare uh, question mark and comma butterflies, then you might uh, see for yourself what the distinguishing marks are. But anyway, they're beautiful, and as I say, they're, they're uh, almost interchangeable in the shape of the wings and so forth. Just a little difference in the color.
coloration that, that uh, helps you identify them. And I look for these every year, and maybe I'll photograph some more, but this one gave me uh, uh, a great sense of joy that I was out there in a short sleeve shirt in, uh, in uh, uh, early April and actually got to photograph this butterfly. There was another one, but it was over a few yards away, so I didn't try very much on it because I got close to this one and wanted to uh, take advantage of it while it was calm. I'm not sure. Somebody said they thought that was a savanna sparrow, but it's pretty small, and it, uh, it's not uh, easy for me to identify. Joe Neal and many others can identify those. I saw a little graffiti on a building on uh, Prairie Street in Fayetteville, and some more beautiful flowers that are about to bloom. Cottontail rabbits always at World Peace Well in Prairie. Their favorite thing right now are the dandelions, and we don't have enough dandelions for all of them. I need to plant some more, and I try to harbor them wherever I can. I, I thought that was a pretty good shot of another, uh, what you call it. Anyway, hi. Until next time, this is Aubrey Shepard asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. And Take a close look at that project on uh, Weddington and see why the neighbors are not happy about it. See you.